By placing trapdoors at the entrance, you get more protection against splash potions. As you can see, if there are more witches, they may poison themselves or each other. Sometimes though, you may end up poisoned. That's why I added this dropper with a milk, to erase the negative effects. Hi, I'm a Chocolator. Let's add an autumn room, a winter room, and a spring room. No stairs. Close it. Overflow windows, an entrance, a tower, a warehouse, a garden, and a tree. I start by creating a 5x5 corner of grey concrete. Now I add 11 more layers on top of it. I do the same for the other 3 corners too, also the gap between every purple mark is 17 blocks. Let's extend the top like that. Now I place a wall, two blocks above the ground to connect the two corners. Here a two block in height gap and fill it. Four more blocks in every side and two in the middle. For this side, the bottom wall and the gap are three blocks in height. Only four blocks on the sides for this wall. The same as the previous here. And here. <sighs> now place four stone bricks here for the entrance. Four more here. Connect them like that. Extend it. Connect it again. And purple glass here. And a door. Now let's extend it at the back. After that, use grey concrete to close the corners like that. Add 9 more layers on top of it. The same for the other three corners. <sighs> now let's add the trapdoors for the splash potions. At the sides I place them like that, to prevent any witch from coming from here. After that place them like that, to create a pattern. You don't have to make the same as mine, even a random one will work. Of course extend it as long as you want. Now I create a 3 block in height wall here to distinguish the outside from the inside. Seal the remaining gaps like that. A few more blocks here. Now let's create stairs here using spruce wood. Water for decoration. After that a simple dropper with a button filled up with milk.
Add purple concrete in this window like that. Add purple glass. The same here. And here. Now let's extend them on the outside to make it look like this purple substance overflows out of this huge cauldron. Here I use a different pattern to make it more interesting. The same for this window. Let's add brown powder here to create the autumn room. Now pumpkins. A ladder here for the next floor. A few trapdoors for decoration. After that white powder here to simulate snow for the winter room. Let's make a snowman here and here Again trapdoors Now break these two blocks and here After that green powder for the spring room Extend it here. Now let's create a tree with brown and green terracotta. Break it on these spots to make it more interesting. Cobweb to make it look old. Rails here. I don't know why, but it looks better this way to me. And trapdoors. Now let's create a ceiling with purple concrete. Place here 5 stone bricks for the tower. The same here, and that makes it one wall. We need three more. Let's fill them. Now I add polished underside on every corner. After that two stone bricks. And dark oak fans. Finally two dark oak blocks here. Add the ladder here. Now let's close it at the top. After that walls with stone bricks. Connect them at the top like that. Now place dark oak planks for an outline. <sighs> Put 
place a ladder here too. After that, walls for this floor too. Now I'll create a small platform with trapdoors here. Purple glass for the windows. One more ladder for the roof. Close it with stone bricks. Connect the corners. One more from below with dark oak fences. Now place upside down dark oak stairs with planks on the top for the roof. The same for the other three sides. I think this addition makes it look like a vicious tower. One stair here. After that, let's create the stairs of this tower. Now let's create the warehouse by starting with its frame. The gap is 4 blocks. Here I use a temporary block to place more oak wood blocks horizontally. The same for this side. Now let's create the walls with dark oak planks. I connect them here. Now the entrance. After that connect them at the top. Purple powder here. Add a ladder. Let's create the roof. The same for this side but without a gap. Extend it at the sides. I create a small roof port here to make it more interesting. Let's create a small chimney here.
Now I use fences to create a pumpkin garden. The gap here is 4 blocks, and here 5. After that extend them like that. Now let's connect them. Fill in the middle too. Of course the pumpkins. I add a few cobwebs to make it more spooky. Now let's create an olive tree here with dark oak. As with my other mob roof houses, I focused more on the design. I think the theme is what makes it better. Check this video if you want more. Now thank you for watching. I know that a witchproof house is a bit of an overkill, but it's the atmosphere that's worth it. I hope you enjoyed the video and the design. See you next time.